take the controller and mount it on the test panel. Plug the cable in. the switch box. Make sure that the orange yellowish colored wire is this way. Plug the servo in on the other side making sure that the orange wire on this side is also in the proper location. I put black dots to tell me and we use the bottom pins. Do not use the top two pins. It won't work. Turn both potentiometers all the way clockwise. Next I'll turn on my power supply. My switch box lights up saying it's on the main. I'll push the button and the throw was a little bit in this direction which is actually would be towards the main the way that changed it but if I want to change it all I have to do is flip this little switch on the side and now it went the other way that reverses the throw you notice the throw is all the way because we have both potentiometers turned to positive So again, if I flip the little slide switch that we soldered on, I can at any time reverse the direction of the flow. Now to adjust it, to adjust our throw, I want to hold the button down and I'm going to take and see if this potentiometer, the trimmer pot, changes it all and it does. So we'll, that will change the throw on this side. Now I'll flip the switch over to the other side and using the big pot I can adjust the throw on that side. So I'll bring it in a little bit. I'll throw the switch back to the main route. Push the button. Now I can take the trimmer pot and adjust it and bring the throw back towards the center like that. So between the two of them I can make the throw a lot shorter than it was before. And if I need to adjust the throw on this one side, now I know that the trimmer pot is the one to use on this side to adjust the throw. And if I need to adjust the throw on the other side, I'll know that my main pot is it. So what I'll do is before installing on, on the layout, I'll adjust my throw so it's very minimum so I don't overpower the points. So now my throw is way shorter than it was when we started. I can take turn everything off, unplug my two cables, take my servo controller off, take it to the layout, put it on the layout, with a different servo, a different box, and we'll know that it's going to be pretty close in the center when we start. And then when we work with that individual turnout, we can turn it to make the points with the right proper contact so there's not too much pressure on the points but still plenty of pressure to hold them in. So within just a minute or two with a setup like this, uh, you can get your controller all ready to go on your layout. Hope that helps.